To begin, would you like to introduce yourself? I am Nicole Kilpatrick Copeland. I was born and raised here in Pike County and a proud graduate of both Pike County High School and Troy University. Great. What kind of books do you write? I write these two in particular, Ragamuffin and Beautifully Haunted, are in the realistic young adult fiction genre because they are um, about like current, not necessarily current events, but current situations that uh, young female adolescents between the ages of 13 to 18 tend to find themselves in. And these two are part of what I call my Broken Dolls series. Um, there's possibly two more for sure coming, possibly three in this series, but they're about um, young girls that just kind of get, they're on the fringe of society and they feel like they've been thrown away because of the things that they go through with home life and it just deals with, unfortunately, stuff that a lot of people deal with now as far as abuse at home or bullying, um, realizing who they are with their identities and, you know, things like that. What's your creative process? Honestly, I just sit down in front of the computer or with my notepad because I'm, I'm very old fashioned. I still handwrite everything and it just comes out. I get a lot of inspiration through dreams, so that is a bit of advice. I always have a notebook and a pen or a very good notepad app on your phone because you'll wake up at 2 and go, oh, I remember that when I get up at 10 in the morning. No, you won't. Write it down. <laughs> Um, so I get a lot of stuff from dreams. Strangely enough, just little snippets of conversations, like I can be in a grocery store or eating somewhere eating lunch, and I'll just hear a little bit, and I'm like, oh, that, that, that'd make a really good character, or hmm, I could have my character kind of go along that, you know, and I, so I start writing stuff down using napkins and anything else. I can, I have file folders full of Arby's napkins and just random pieces of paper and anything. I'm, I'm very, um, eclectic I guess you'd say I don't have a I don't sit down at this time every day and write it you know I just go for it whatever whenever it hits it hits do you ever experience writer's block and if so what do you do to get out of it unfortunately yes it's uh that's that's the hard part um one of the things that I have found that helps me I tend to when I'm writing I don't read other books as much but when I have writer's block, I realize I'm, I start noticing I'm reading others more and that tends to, to help me because then I get it in my mind, you know what, I really do need to be doing this. And sometimes I do have to just sit there and look at a blank piece of paper forever and go, get out, get out, and it finally comes out. But it, it can take a while. Sometimes it's been a couple of years between the last book and, and this one because I'm a perfectionist too and it has to be just right or else I'm not comfortable putting it out. And what inspires you to write? A lot of different stuff. Um, like with with these particular books, like I said, it's, it's people that society don't, they don't want to listen to them and, or they're just like, oh, you know, I don't believe in that, so I'm not listening to you. They still have a voice. And that that's kind of what inspires me is I see people that are so strong and you know, overcome everything that people want to throw at them. Like I said, whether it's being in a home that's uh, you know abuse of some kind, or whether it's you know a family that's been homeless, or like I say, you know, somebody struggling with their identity and they they're being turned away, maybe because they're in a community or an area that's just very not open and accepting to that. So when they're still strong enough to rise up and say, I'm me and I'm strong and I can overcome this, that's the kind of stuff that inspires me. And you know, when I see stories, oh, even on the news about somebody that's just like, you know, they've been lost for, you know, days and freezing cold temperature and they still come out of it and they're like, I'm good to go. That, to me, that's inspiring. And I'm like, that, that's the kind of people I like to, to write, you know, base characters around and, and, and write about that. Is there anything else you would like to share with us? No matter what anybody tells you, you can do if it's your dream you go for it because i was told by someone when i was in the ninth grade that i would never amount to anything because of my last name and i found a teacher when i was on in high school in the 10th grade who believed in me and has always encouraged me and when i said i wanted to be a writer she's like you can do this 
So no matter what your dream is, don't let anybody tell you that it's not worth fighting for. You go for it and you do it and you do it with everything you've got in you. Do not give up. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was you. fantastic.